So today we're going to be talking about From MTV to Mecca by Christiane Backer. So firstly, who is Christiane Backer? This German-born lady became a household name across Europe, the UK and America. In the 90s, she had millions of fans and followers, including many A-list celebrities. Yet these days, she's rarely talked about. To be honest, at the start, I didn't know who she was either, but her book has completely changed my outlook on life. It gave me answers to questions I'd always wanted to ask. So, Christiane Backer was one of the very first presenters on MTV back in the 1990s. Christiane lived and breathed the international music scene, reaching the pinnacle of her career, with her friends including big names such as Bob Geldof, Sting, Mick Jagger, Take That and Cat Stevens. However, despite having the life that many could only dream about, for Christiane there was just something missing. The biography takes us from one world to another, from Kurt Cobain and Axl Rose having a fight backstage, then travelling to the mountains of Pakistan where Christiane is holidaying with the cricketer, now politician, Imran Khan. Through this fateful encounter, whilst in Pakistan, Christiane discovered a completely different world, the culture and religion of Islam. She found herself drawn to this new way of life. And the more answers she sought for, and the more she was immersing herself into the religion and culture, she discovered dissatisfaction of her own life. Over a number of years and through the support of friends, in 1995, Christiane decides to convert to Islam and become a Muslim. And her book takes us on this journey with her. From MTV to Mecca, the title explains perfectly what this book is about. We take a journey into Christiane's spiritual world across the globe. From Pakistan to Bosnia, LA to London, Hamburg to Saudi Arabia. The book inspires both Muslims and non-Muslims. With Christiane's journey of self-discovery, we experience the highs and lows from finding love embracing Islam, and how to incorporate Islamic practices into day-to-day -day life, change of relationships with family and friends due to misconceptions, professional struggles, and a real honest depiction of what it's like to be a Muslim in Western society today. Christiane's biography, From MTV to Mecca, tells the story of her conversion to Islam, despite many bumps in the road on the way, Islam at last gave her the answers, peace and tranquility she was searching for. From NTV to Mecca has to be one of my favourite books of all time. I felt I could relate to Christiane a lot. From a career perspective, and also in regards to just her moral values, I think Christiane also challenged some of the rules of Islam by bringing out her inner journalist in her personal life, which I also admired. Like, for example, when Christiane went to the mosque with Imran and after the service, she was made to drink tea with the Muslim ladies and was made to wait over four hours for Imran. And rather than waiting quietly and patiently, like most of the other wives would, Christiane's side as a journalist comes out and she walks into the room where the men are congregating and finds Imran just watching cricket. <laughs> I also admire Christiane's search for the truth. In the book, Christiane raises the question of why does it say in the Quran that it's acceptable to strike a woman if she does wrong? And I just admire her bravery and strength to ask those kinds of questions. I think MTV to Mecca opens your mind and Christiane reminds us what's really important in life and why the Eastern society has it right when it comes to family values. An example of this is in the book, it explains that they don't have nursing homes in Pakistan. Elderly people stay with their families where they're cherished and it's shown that treating the elderly with dignity and respect is an important part of the faith. I think it's something that 
us as a Western culture have all wrong. But I think the government are partly to blame for this also. Christiane explains that these stories and insights clearly show her how religion seeped into every corner of Pakistan culture. I don't actually have anything negative to say about this biography. I'm not a Muslim, however, reading this book has made me realise that Islam does have understanding of some parts of what's important in our lives. I enjoyed hearing the endless debates with Christiane's family and friends to defending the religion publicly and promoting Islam in a positive and more truthful light. Christiane poses us with amazing questions such as would there ever be a cross-cultural understanding? Would Islam ever be respected as a religion in Europe? And would people ever learn to differentiate between culture and religion? Or do they actually come as a package? I think Christiane, in her book, raises some possible solutions that can help resolve these omnipresent dilemmas. I actually feel really privileged to know Christiane personally. She's actually a dear friend of mine through this book. We share different views and we're part of different cultures and religions. However, after experiencing my friendship with Christiane, I feel like we can answer one of our questions together and we have shown that it is possible to have a cross-cultural understanding. I feel Christiane's book will entertain you and, you know, it might even help you find your sole purpose and reason for being on this earth. Who knows? Or, like me, you might just make a friend and broaden your mind, but Either way, I think any of those are a good outcome from reading this book. Music and the arts have always been a part of Christiane's life. It was music that first opened Christiane's heart to the culture and religion of Islam. But despite having her dream job, Christiane's emptiness inside remained. At the point of crisis in her life, she met and began a relationship with Imran Khan. Christiane, now living in London, decided to convert to Islam as a European woman, because the more she studied Islam, the more she found it could give her the peace and meaning that was missing. From MTV to Mecca talks about Christiane's spiritual and intellectual awakening, her conversion and how it is possible to be a European Muslim. Let's now hear directly from Christiane herself. Inwardly, I was empty. The biggest, the most important was missing, and that was God. And really, by the grace of God, you know, um, I am now feeling rich from inside. Anyway, satisfied, content. I have a purpose in life. My name is Christiana Bakker and uh, yes, I took a long journey. I used to be a presenter, interviewing rock stars, hosting music shows on MTV Europe. And by the grace of God, I became a Muslim a few years later and found myself in Mecca, alhamdulillah. So this is actually the title of my book. I've written about my journey from MTV to Mecca. Um, It's my whole life in four words, uh, which has been quite a long journey and I guess an unusual journey. I wanted to show people the beautiful Islam that I found. Just to say it's, it's so impressive how Saudi Arabia facilitates the pilgrimage for two million plus pilgrims. I just find it wonderful how many volunteers are helping, how it's cleaned all the time, you know. Just the whole, all the Saudi Arabians, they also all get involved and so many young people help. As you can see by my video review, Her book is not some publicity stunt as many once thought, but is a life-changing autobiography of a woman who found true meaning in her life and has helped me find mine.